Hi, brothers and sisters. I wanted to come on and do a real quick video update on another dream I had last night. This dream only lasted about 20 seconds. But um, it was um, an actual answer to prayer that I had prayed right before I went to bed. Um, and the experience that I had in this dream was, um, uh, was the exact experiences that I experienced three to four times in 2011. And I haven't had that experience since. Well, last night before I went to bed, um, as I do every night, I prayed to the Lord and I said, Lord, as I go to sleep, I pray that you would just come and you would speak to me through dreams, whatever it is that you would have me to know. And it was shortly after that prayer, I drifted off to sleep. And uh, I had this dream that I could literally, it felt so real and so, uh, like I wasn't even dreaming, like it was really happening. Like my spirit, uh, I could feel it floating and coming out of my body. It was ascending up. And um, I remember in my mind in the dream saying, this is it. The rapture, it's happening right now. And all of a sudden, for a brief moment, a fear kind of overtook me because it's like, oh my goodness, all this time I've been warning people and I've been telling people this is, this is the moment. You know, this, this is really, really happening. And um, all of a sudden, I went, ah, like that. And I woke up and I could feel my spirit like being sucked back into my body. And when I woke up, I, all my hairs on my body were standing on end. I had goosebumps from head to toe and my heart was pounding out of my chest. It felt that real. And I really, and I, when I woke up, I thought, did I really scream out loud or was I screaming in my dream? I mean, it wasn't really screaming. It was more like a groan, like a, ah, type of a thing. And, um, and so I, when I woke up, I shook my husband and he was kind of half out of it. And I said, I just had a dream that I was just raptured. And he was like, oh, my goodness, like that. And, um, I, you know, I was like reaching over to feel that if he was still there, if I was dreaming or if it was real. I mean, I just can't tell you, express to you how real and how literal uh, Lee, I felt that the rapture was really occurring. And, again, this is, uh, I had this experience probably three to four times in 2011 when I had several rapture dreams that year. And, um so this morning when I got up, I was, you know, reiterating to my husband what I what had happened because he was kind of half out of it uh, when I woke, when I shook him last night, and um, and he said, yeah, he says I literally heard you yelling in your sleep. It was like a groan, and I says, I know that's what woke me up. So, uh, anyways, it was super exciting because if you watched my video from yesterday on uh, on uh, the 24th of June, I did a video on five dreams the Lord gave me that morning, uh, little short little snippets of dreams um, in, in sequential order of events. Uh, one of them was on house cleaning. One of them was on a wet prepar wedding preparation, getting your house in order, getting the dirt and the grime and your spiritual house ready for his return, getting those last minute details um, all swept up and getting the grime out. You know, you want every area of your house clean. Everything needs to be neat and tidy and in order because he's coming for a bride without spot, without blemish, without wrinkle. He's coming for a holy, pure bride. And then, you know, he gave me the dream about the RFID chip, the mark of the beast. And he gave me a, a dream about, um, and then the sky, I looked up and saw a huge lion. We all know that God, the Lord is a lion of the tribe of Judah. And he was laying down like he was sitting there patiently waiting and he was looking down at this earth, and it was huge, and it was detailed, and it was, it was like carved out of the clouds, but yet it was three-dimensional. And it was like he was right at the door, ready to break through the clouds. And then the fifth dream was about uh, torment, getting tormented in hell. And I got to see what that's going to be like for many that are going to uh, perish, that refuse to receive Jesus Christ as their Savior. So you can go back and watch that dream, and then the, the following day, which was... 625. I actually looked at the clock when I woke up from this dream, and it was 1.23 a.m., 1.23. So I thought that was interesting. So I wanted just to share this with you. I pray that it was encouragement to you. I pray that you guys have a blessed day. Keep looking up. I know many of you are writing me with your experiences, that you're having the same kinds of experiences, dreams, and visions. 
that I have. I believe the Lord is awakening his bride, that he's sending out a message, that he's raising up many to send out warnings to the world, that his return is, is nigh. It is at hand. It is at the door. And it is our job to warn. It is our job to plant seeds. It's not our job to change. It's our job to plant seeds. And it's our job to be like John the Baptist and prepare the way of our soon coming king. We are the voice in the wilderness. We are the voice in the desert. And, and, and the Holy Spirit that lives in us, he speaks through us to minister to those that need ministered. And I'm ministering you today, and I'm encouraging you today, that Jesus Christ is coming very, very soon. He told me about a month ago, actually on May um, the 23rd, he told me, he said, darkness, daughter, darkness is covering the face of the earth. The light is soon to be removed. And I just watched my, uh, 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 my YouTube friend, uh, Jean. Uh, he goes by JC. It's Papos123 uh, on YouTube. That's his channel. Go watch his recent video. Um, it is uh, called, um, let me look at real quick. I want to get it exactly right. It's on my Facebook wall if you're friends with me on Facebook as well. Um, the video is called The Tree of Life is About to be Plucked Out. So it's the same word. God is giving the same words to, uh, to, to his bride. And, you know, we're not even communicating with each other. We're, we're, you know, he's given us words and he's given another person the same words. And all of a sudden, you know, you, you, you speak the word that you're having. And then all of a sudden people are coming saying, yes, I'm getting the same thing. So God is speaking, and the message for the hour is Jesus is coming. Look up. If you do not yet know him, there's a little bit of space left. The door is a little bit cracked open. Repent of your sin. Surrender your life to him. Invite him in to be Lord of your life. Live pure and holy life uh, before him. He's coming for a bride very, very soon. I can't stress it enough. It is within my spirit, and it's these dreams that he has given me the past two nights that the message is loud and clear. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Creator of the universe, the Son of God who died for the sins of the world, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, our Savior, our Redeemer, our King, our Protector, our Deliverer is coming to take us out of here. May you be counted worthy to escape all that is about to come on the face of the earth. Because for those that are left behind, it's going to be a horrible, horrible time of doom. It's going to be a, a, a terrible time, and many will not survive. Many will be, be, be killed at the rapture because uh, of, of the earthquakes and such. And many uh, that, uh, that um, choose Christ during that time do not take the mark of the beast. You will, you will have to flee for your life. Many will be beheaded for the sake and martyred for the sake of the gospel. You will have to give your life for Christ. And so while there's a little bit of time, accept him now before it's too late because I'm telling you, he is at the door. He's just simply waiting for his father to say, son, go get your children, and he is going to break through those clouds. And um, many, many people will disappear. So don't believe the lie if you're left behind that aliens came because they did not come to get us Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, did. And we're in heaven celebrating the marriage supper of the Lamb and getting married to our King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Praise God. Hallelujah. So uh, I pray that you have a blessed day and, um, and that you are doing well. And I'm praying for each and every one of you. You're in my heart. You're in my mind daily. And I'm lifting you up before the throne. And uh, may you be blessed financially, may you be blessed relationally, may you be blessed in your health. Whatever it, you need, may the anointing power of God come upon you and anoint you from head to toe today. And that you would just go forth in power, doing his work, occupy until he comes. Because the race is about finished. We're about to cross that finish line and we're about to collapse into our Father, Abba Father's lap for all eternity. Hallelujah. I can't wait for that day of celebration. Have a wonderful and blessed day in Jesus' name. Bye.